did not attend. So everyone can vote on the motion to reconsider, though. Yeah, yeah, right. But but ultimately, though, no. the content of the ultimate is going to be should be voted on by anyone who wasn't present. Okay, thank you. So, so we have a moment. Um, we're all present at the original meeting. So we were all present at the original meeting. Right. So we can all vote on the reconsideration, and then we can vote on, on both. Absolutely. Okay, so, so we don't have to abstain from voting. Right. Okay. okay. I'll let the attorney resume. The meeting, let's, let's chart this. The date of the meeting, the original meeting, everyone was present. Correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so that date was. We think, right? It, we know. It was May 6th. May 6th. May 6th. May 6th. May 6th. So the subsequent meeting, May 20th. May 20th, minutes were approved of the April 6th meeting without everyone's testimony. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the original minutes, if you agree collectively to be considered the original minutes from April 6, 2009. May 6th. May 6th. Yeah. I think so. It was the first meeting in May. Let me make sure I understand. I understand it's convoluted. All right. And the reason that I think it's important just for the public to know, I know it's taking time and we will time this item to see how long it's taking us, but is this is the only motion, this is the only meeting we can reconsider. Um, it's the following meeting or the meeting that we can't do it any other time. Okay. So the, the original meeting was April 6th, to my fellow board members here just in the in the sake of transparency and doing the right thing um, to move to reconsider and I am fine after this with um, deferring this item to a future board agenda so that we can have opportunity for the public to speak on and participate in what they came here tonight for but these are not the words that I said and I do not think that minutes should reflect words a that I did not say and also there's nothing indicating in here that these were amended or that it came from trustee Carpenter or trustee um, Amenta and not from the village clerk which is evidence in the video that we do have we're from May 20th and okay. generally things are more general than this but for some reason these are very specific so I just in fairness I would, would um, ask my board members to vote to reconsider this Okay, so thank you very much. We have a motion um, to reconsider and a second. Uh, I'm going to cut off discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Motion carries. Motion carries. Who are the nay votes? Can you just raise your hand? Okay, five two. Thanks for transparency. All right, so now we would like to make a motion to. A, to I'd like to move to defer the discussion for the minutes. I don't know that you can do that. Attorney Garrett, I think when you make a motion to reconsider, it needs to happen at that meeting. The chapter 155-16 talks about um, the reconsideration of a vote on any question should happen immediately after such vote or 
at the next succeeding meeting, um, which is now. Perfect. Can, I, can I just make the point that, oh, so you're saying it does have to happen? Uh, correct. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, wait, we can defer it to the end of our meeting. Uh, and, I, and I run the agenda. Can we this far into it? Let's go. Let's go. Guys. Okay. Okay. If there is a motion on the floor, I will entertain it at this point. I move to move to discuss the meetings at the end of the following item. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Item. Well, let's do it before the reports of the village officials. Let's do it after item 9C. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay, discussion. I, um, as the presiding officer, I am. I would like to get this done in the correct order, and I think we're all present, and we continue on the discussion. Usually, we would take reconsideration and then the issue, um, and I prefer to follow standard procedure. So uh, that is my say, Trustee Buffers. Um, we have taken things out of order in the past in order to allow the public to speak and for transparency. So this is not the precedent setting, and I understand if you guys want me to stop so you can continue to talk. I can do that. Please address the audience. But um, I would like it if you would stop telling me what's true. Um, so, yes. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to ask me to do? Are you done? No, I'm not. So I would, I'm just saying that there's, you know, we can do it out of order. It doesn't hurt. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? To defer. I would like to finish this conversation. I feel like um, we've gotten this far. Let's wrap it up and move on. We have a lot of other things that are really, actually, really important to our community and you to continue to moving forward. I agree. Thank you. So, we have a motion, a second. Any further discussion? Um, Trustee Jim. I will. Yeah. I would just. Like to say that I, I would take exception with Trustee Carpenter's implicate in um, statement that this is not important. I think, as board members, if we have something that we need to clear with our fellow board members, we need to take the time to do it. I think it's the motion to defer you're talking about, correct? Yeah, I don't, okay. I don't want to defer. That's why it's the end of the meeting. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? <coughs> okay, seeing none, all those in favor. Wait, what is the motion? Would you like to read that? Defer the discussion of the um, minutes. To after item 9C in the agenda. Thank you. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. 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 Motion fails. 4 3. Yes. Um, okay, so we will take up the item. Is there a motion on the floor? She just wanted to suggest revisions to the Oh, yes. Yeah. So now that we're discussing, we can revise the minutes. Do you have a motion? Nathan? I think it's, well, you just, just said revise, revise, <laughs> now you're reconsidering. Right, you're so you, back can, to where, you can make a motion. You're back to where you would be the first time we would be discussing, discussing the minutes. So this is as if this were the first time that we were discussing the minutes. You're, yeah, you, so you're anything is fair no, in the minutes. With respect to that agenda. Okay, gotcha. No, I appreciate that. So there's no, there's never approval of minutes is what you're saying. If the, if the motion that is made fails, does the motion that stood, that was made, stand? So it didn't wipe it away. Okay. You just left. Okay. So, I guess, are you asking me to, to move to approve the minutes? Or? Yeah. You can suggest your changes to the math. Okay, I'm sorry, this is the first time we've done this, so forgive me for not understanding for the call. Um, so, yes, I would like to add to item 7, which is items removed from the consent agenda. And I want to thank you all for um, having this discussion. I want to apologize to those of you who are here. I'm sorry we did not defer this. Point of order. So, we Point order. change the... Point of order. Do we need to do that? If we are in reconsideration, do we need to pull, add to the pull from the consent agenda? I think that's what it suggested. I just want to... Let's, that's the item sheet. We've already pulled it, right? Okay, okay, continue on, I'm sorry. That's the part of the minutes she's addressing. Okay. Not yeah. Can I continue? Okay. 
So change, let's see. Future items of consideration. Discussion with Trustee Bachhorst. Well, mentioned she did not trust the review was delivered on village manager review wrap-up. Did we say? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, are we discussing the change or are we discussing the minutes? Because that's the change that was made. Well, is this, is this a requested amendment to the, the minutes that are as written? Yes. Which minutes? The changed minutes or the original minutes? It doesn't, it doesn't say they were changed in here, but they were changed. So there are two different things that we're talking about. The motion was to reconsider the original minutes. Right. And at, it was at which you requested. The draft the original minutes. It was not in there. Let's clarify the date. May, May 6th. May 6th. Just so everybody's on the same page. Oh, Correct. <coughs> right. So okay. that, that sentence wasn't in there. And that's what's being reconsidered is the approval of the minutes for the May 6th meeting. That's, so that's do you want to make a motion to approve those minutes? That's what you're talking oh. about. Oh. Yeah. So, wait, so we have to go back to uh, but the I, minutes. But I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at the. We'd have to look at those then. Why can't she just address her? I, this is getting so. We could Why did she not just address her changes to the minutes as they stand on this agenda? She just, she voted, the board voted um, majority to reconsider the minutes that were original. Is that correct? Is that, my understanding is those were the minutes that were being objected to. No, Both. she's objecting Both. to the changes, the changes. That, that were made in, in, the second, her, in her absence. She's objecting to the changes that were made on May 20th. She, I don't know if she has objections to the original okay. section. I know I have that there was objections to the original and then also amendments that were subsequent. I think, I think the original, obviously, she might have thought that was the original minutes. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. No, I think that's what she's talking about. No, I knew they weren't the original, but we can, so we can, is there any objection to the original minutes? Yeah, I think that's what she's talking about. Yeah, I knew they weren't the original, but we can, so 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 we can
to just to review the process. And then you would not make a motion, however, to add it to an item for future consideration. Did you make a motion to add it to? Because I don't recall you making a motion, even though we had quite a lengthy discussion. Right. No motion was required to be okay. made. Thank you. And I, um, it, it, that's our process. When Trustee you bring an item for future consideration, you need to make a motion to be put on. Trustee Hunt, let me just clarify for the public and for the board. Um, that, and I did ask um, the attorney this question as well. So we have a agreed upon, just informally, process at the beginning that we people were wondering how to get things on the agenda and the method that we agreed upon this year has not been formalized in a policy that has been adopted or changed, but that we consent, um, we have consented to in committee of the whole was in order to allow more transparency and, and elected officials to put something on the agenda, we will allow at any point in the meeting, which is consistent with Robert rules, someone can make a motion and have a second and it will go on the, the future vote and it goes on the future agenda if, it, if that motion prevails. The other option is that you would list it, you'd send to the village manager a topic and it would be listed on the agenda. So there are two ways. And so I think um, Trustee Menta is correct. I just want to specify that the proper procedure that we agreed upon and we could always change by unanimous vote or by majority vote, but is to make a motion and get a second. So did you get your question answered? I, I get I, I mean, I'm, I'm not understanding. I would like to know what the objection is because Trustee Barkers did bring this up as an item for a future agenda, um, and she and in order to get it as an item on a future agenda, she would need to make a motion and us vote to put it on, but she would not make the motion. Correct. And then, then she doesn't dispute that. And as I recall, that. you made the motion, Correct. and there was no second. And so I think that's how it's written. And I agree. Okay. There's um, more to it. Okay, Trustee uh, Warren. Just, just in the interest of that, just, just in the interest of trying to get us to a finish line here, um, just <laughs> how about if we just change the language to make it much more high level? Uh, trustee, tr trustee Backhorse to discuss the village manager review, review wrap up, and standing committee assignment assignments. President Rosek made a motion around standing committee assignments. In the trustee Carpenter. So the thing, the word that I feel is really important to be noted in the minutes is that Trustee Bachhorst should not trust that the review process with the JPNL chair and the village president were delivered appropriately to the village manager. And then Trustee McKay made a motion, which was very different, and the motion was, um, and I, I actually voted to support this motion, um, was to have a review wrap up with the village manager, which to me has very different sentiment that we wanted to wrap up the whole review process versus not trusting how the review was delivered, especially when the review process was discussed um, from Trustee Bopper said she gave us explicit directions to present the village manager with her annual review. So that particular word I do think is important that um, Trustee Bopper did not trust the way that we were delivered. I feel pretty strongly about so that. So are you saying because it differentiates from the motion that followed? Yes, and I do think that Trustee Bachers is correct that there is no mention of Trustee Cape's um, motion about the review wrap up. So maybe we do add something in that there needs that would be that helpful. Trustee Cape motion and it was passed I think I don't know what what it was, but um, I'm that we have a, a review wrap up, mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I just felt very different um, than the, the lack of trust for the way that the JPNL chair and the president. And can I ask um, a question to the board? Because I did ask um, for Trustee Bachhurst before, so we didn't have to waste board time, but she wanted to discuss that full board now that we're having this conversation. Um, Rebecca and I would like to just get clarification on was that the intent of the motion that was made was a wrap up. We just want to know what we're supposed to be putting on the agenda. We can do it the next agenda. Mm -hmm. Was that the intent? Yes, that was, and I appreciate Trustee Carpenter catching that it was not noted in the minutes. Okay, thank you so much. Is that enough? And I believe the vote was 5 2, or was it 5 2 or 4 3? was the second? I think it would be. No, I think it would be. I voted for. Trustee Warren. Who was the lowest? You were asking the second to the yeah. trustee. Uh, it's yeah. trustee Warren. Yeah. Okay, trustee Bachhorst. Um, and also, what Trustee McKay Woods also left out of this, and part of the reason that I um, brought this to the attention of the board, was that we had discussed also, and I believe Trustee McKay can confirm this, that there would be some sort of wrap up. 
And then when I had asked if there was going to be that evening, you guys said no, we had already had this discussion and that wasn't it. So it was contrary to what we so are. Are you adding please. something to the minutes? Please, yes, I am. Please, for the sake of time, if you're adding a sentence to the minutes, please, please make that sentence. We don't need to rehash the conversation. We just want to know what you need documented I so we can vote. Thank you for that. So um, what are the amended minutes as such so I can know which sentence to add to it? to that then is that, um, well actually Trustee McKegg, I don't, since you're here, um, if you would like to, your words were that something along, or your sentiment was something what, along the line. Are you line. asking Trustee McKegg to read say her words? Trustee McKegg. Um, as they were noted by Trustee Carpenter, I support that. Thank you. Anything else that you would like to add? Is there any other sentences that you That we had discussed that there would be a wrap up previously with the village manager and the full board as is a standard standard operating procedure in human relation or um, all HR the, practices. All those words? Okay, you got all those words? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I, I, I was just want to say that I, I specifically recall that we that we concluded the review oh, process by asking that trustee partner, President Kozak, meet with the village manager, and that my understanding was that we were done and we had never discussed having a wrap up or anything. But, um, I, I also want to keep the trustee brought up reviewing the appointment process for standing committee assignments. She's acknowledged that that was another item that she brought up as an item for future conduct. <coughs> and if, if we don't want to say she did not make a motion, that's fine. Let's just say President Rosek made a motion to review the, the appointment process and there was no second. Thank you. That is accurate. In my opinion. Trustee Boppers. Um, and I would add to that, if, if we want to include people's names and how that process played out, that President Rose, uh, I will say that you did tell me to make a motion. Yeah. And, yeah. and that I said it's late. We Are you adding those words? This. Please, let's refrain from further discussion about what happened at the meeting. If you have a minute revision that you would like to see at this moment, state what it is. Otherwise, I Trustee will call the Amenta. question. Instructed me to make a motion, or Trustee Backhorse to make a motion. Trustee Backhorse said it is late or something to these words because I can't remember Just, the exact. What is the word you want? Trustee Backhorse said we'll dis we'll discuss this at a later date. Okay. President Rosek said I will make a motion because if a motion fails, it dies. Okay, is that it? And then you made a motion Wait. to discuss it at the next board meeting. I, I don't, okay, you got that? That's the words, keep going. Anything else? No. No? Do you have a revision to a word that you would like to state? Yeah, I wouldn't, I would not say I instructed Trustee Bach, because I would never presume to instruct Trustee Bach Horst on any matter, but I um, so you want requested to that, word? that she make a motion. Requested. Is that okay? Would you like to amend that that word? Um, and I would say no, strongly requested. Oh okay. So now I'd like to call the question. I am making the motion. Uh, so we'll take a vote on call the question. All those in favor? Do we have to move forward? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries seven zero. I assume. Okay. okay. And now we now now we will read the minutes back as amended. No, I'm going back on the tape. <laughs> <laughs> All the words are not going to be perfect. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> okay. So, we are going to um, add uh, that Trustee McKay made a motion second by Trustee Warren to have the village manager review wrap up, which passed by to Rilla Nagel. Stop. Um, Continue on. Read the motion. Yeah. And we call the question. Then there. Um, is a mention that there would be a wrap-up previously with the village manager. Then Trustee Blackhorse brought up reviewing the appointment process for standing committees we will keep. We will also keep 
Trustee Bachhorst did not trust the review as delivered by JPNL Chair and Village Manager and Village President to the Village Manager. Trustee Amenta strongly requested Trustee Bachhorst to make a motion. Trustee Bachhorst will um, did not want to. She wanted to discuss at a later date. President Rosick moved to discuss at the next village board meeting, which failed for lack of a second. Okay, thank you. And and trust and village attorney Bear, we're gonna take the vote. We call the question point of order. If it fails, then we are done, correct? And we continue on. Back unless to the original sure. minutes or the, the minutes? Sure. The minutes as amended. <laughs> These are not the minutes. The minutes as amended. Right. Okay. okay. So we're wait, voting wait. on the May 6th minutes, not the minutes that we have on the agenda. This right. is this would probably need to be if we modify it. And this has this is a separate issue, the May 20th yeah. summary of the, yeah. of okay. the minutes. Uh, point, that's a point of order. Are you asking a question? Because that's, I think we've called the question, so. But, but I thought point it was order? reconsideration of the May 6th minutes. So, point of order, Attorney Bear. <coughs> we just can't have further discussion. If, if we end up with an amended May 6th of 2019 minutes, and there's, you're saying that there's a summary of those minutes that you believe would need to be further amended in the May 26th minutes, is that? Well, we, yeah, so we, there was a, I think, a wrong motion made to reconsider, but that's okay. That's what we have on the floor, and we voted to reconsider the May sixth. But they will, if it's adopted, they will conflict with the amended minutes from the May twenty second. How do we handle that? Or if it just fails, we continue on. If it fails, we continue on. Okay, then let's go. Passes, and you make a subsequent motion okay. to add direct the clerk to uh, uh, make the uh, harmonize May twenty seventh. May 27th minutes consistent with the now amended May Okay, thank you. So let's vote and, and see if it fails or not. Then we can ask for further questions. We call the question. I'm sorry, I'm confused about if I vote Wait, no, are. are we going back to the May 6th version or the May 20th version? We, if, it, if the motion fails, the attorney has just advised the amended motions, does the amended minutes do not need to be revised. Okay? Be, nothing because nothing changes. Because those minutes stay that we were not we're not considering the medical listen. If 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 this motion prevails, then we need to make a second motion to direct the clerk to amend those minutes to reflect these. Okay? So let's just see if it fails first because then we don't need to do anything further. If it is if it prevails, then we need to make a second motion. Okay, the question has been called. All those in favor of adopting the amended minutes stated by the clerk from May 6th, as they were stated, say aye. 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 And that motion is uh, nay. So that nay. was, okay, 5-2. So now it prevails. So Attorney Barron, what do we need to do? Make a motion to direct the clerk to uh, amend the May 27, 2019 minutes. Excuse me. I'm sorry, the date was wrong. The May 20th. The May 20th, excuse me. The May 20th. Oh, to reconsider it or to just. Well, we haven't approved them. We haven't approved them yet. These are, we could defer these. Yeah. Oh, and ask the clerk to. Or if we can. Yeah, we can. Just give direction to harmonize it. For the May 20th. Yeah, you can do that as well. We have a minute. Okay, so now we have the amended May 6th of 2018. Point of order. Trustee Carpenter made a motion at the last meeting to approve the minutes with a change. And we unanimously voted to do so. So they are approved minutes. I don't know why people are saying they're not approved. Those were approved minutes with the change. We would now need to, because we haven't talked about those, we would now need to bring those minutes in compliance with the May 6th, which we just talked about. So May 20th was indeed. It, we voted, and it was unanimously yeah. approved the change. The, this is the meeting this we would approve those minutes at. Yeah, yeah, we approved yeah. those minutes at. Okay, that's on the agenda tonight. They list the change, so what's have the May 20th minutes have the item from the May 6th that they want changed. That was what they were speaking. Okay. But we can defer now the May oh. 20th minutes. It doesn't, so I can bring back and remove those no, items. Can't. We already approved the minutes. It is recorded in this minutes saying that that vote was taken. 
but I'm the presiding officer and I'm telling you we have approved those minutes with Trustee Carpenter's change. If you'd like, we now have approved May 6 minutes that don't, they don't match. So you're not objecting to today's minutes that are in the packet. She was objecting to the fact that <coughs> she did not say that. And we approve minutes that she thinks so. So I am objecting to tonight's minutes as well. Well, that's fine. We can do that in a separate motion, OK? Mm -hmm. But at the moment, I'm asking for point of order from our attorney to tell me we have two sets of minutes that don't match. The and we've adopted them both now. Right. We haven't adopted the 20th yet. Stop. Mm -hmm. when we, are you saying that they're adopted because there wasn't a request to remove it from, from the Because they're on consideration for tonight. No, the minutes on consideration for tonight are what are saying it's recording that vote, right? That um, it's just saying the change was suggested and voted on. Is that correct? What is on today's <laughs> consideration <laughs> for the committee of the whole May 20th, 2019 at 6. So the vote was taken. Now, if you're objecting to the vote was not taken and it wasn't taken, then we can repeat we, that would be tonight's. There's something wrong. The vote wasn't taken. But if you're saying that that statement is incorrect, we've already voted that the statement was correct. So you need to amend the the prior meeting minutes. suggestion to amend the minutes and we voted unanimously to do so. May 20th. So we are reconsidering that vote. Well, we just voted that the body just voted to May 6th minutes. Now we have minutes for May 6th. We have minutes. We all adopted 5-2. Five, five, so now is there any changes that need to be further made? Are there incorrect uh, reflections in May 20th? Yeah. Yes. That's, 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 that's So do you make a motion to bring them? Is that what you're saying? Is to make a motion to bring them in? Is there, is there indeed now items yes. in the May 20th, 2019 agenda, or, or I should say, minutes that are no longer active? No, because it, it no, because it, it accurately says what we did. It accurately says that she made a change to the minutes. It accurately says we voted. But now we so it accurately reflects there's nothing that is not accurate in these minutes. It happened. It happened. It is a record of what happened. Then there's nothing to be Okay. All right. So now we have our May six minutes and we have trustee Mark. Yeah, when you read, when these amendments on, on the May twentieth meeting these changes, you go back to the actual May six minutes and modify yes. them and then post yep. the modified yep. minutes. Yes. So, okay. okay. So some of this May twentieth could be deleted. No, we don't delete minutes from a meeting. No. Well, attorney Bear. Attorney Bear. If someone would like at this meeting to say that the May 20th, we pulled it from the agenda, that is not an accurate description of what happened at the meeting, please make a motion to do so. Yes. So moved. Correct? Okay. Exactly. Do we have a second? Thank you, Attorney Baird. Okay, no second, the motion fails. So we will continue on. Trustee Amenta. I'm, so, I'm sorry for the labor miss, but I do, I do have one, one question about it is that the, the in the amended minutes, it said that the motion you made was, can you repeat it, Sarah, was to defer something about deferring something? And that was not the motion. The motion that you made 
was exactly what Trustee Bachrach had been talking about, but refused to make the motion, which was reconsider the appointment to standing committee. You made that motion. You didn't make a motion to defer. You made the motion to review our process for standing committee. <coughs> so, I, so what's in front of us for May 22nd? So I, I, I know we voted on it and we voted 5-2, but that was not the motion that President Prozick made, and I'll just make that here and oh, let's move on. Okay, so you don't want to make any changes to the current description of well, yeah, I would move to change to change that sentence to say to reflect that the motion that you made, which was please state what it was. What you think it was. That President Rosak made a motion to review the process for standing committee assignments. Failed for lack of a second. That was. The and is that what it states in the May twenty second draft <laughs> meeting minutes that are in front of us? That's what it says. Yeah. Okay. Then no meeting. Then nothing else needs to be changed. <coughs> that they stand as they are. No one has the motion failed. Now the May six meeting. I mean, they conflict. We're great. Okay. I would like to move that we change the May 6th meeting. Right, you want to reconsider the May 6th meeting? Yeah. She voted no, though. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we here. You know the motion she made was not the motion. And I don't agree with what you're her. saying here. You weren't not. there. Okay. Unless we have a motion to reconsider again, we are going to continue on our agenda. You I can't make it. you, President Rosie, it's your motion that you made. I understand and I voted nay. And she will accurately reflect in these minutes did. to say why a nay vote was casted. Which I had asked the first term I took office in the first meeting that everybody may vote as can, can, a sentence. Can I just say it's really important that our minutes reflect if, if the only thing that they need is what the motion was that is accurately stated and vote. Thank you. Okay? And the minutes, as we discussed, I don't know, if it, you know, it's not the accurate motion. Okay, thank you. So now, if you, are, if you don't want to reconsider or reconsider, then we're going to move on to the next agenda item. Anyone object? Okay, next agenda item. Okay. You're not objecting to May 20th. Are you going to postpone it until the end of the meeting or next meeting? We already had that vote. So, would someone like to make a motion to approve the May 20th meeting minutes? I would make a motion to defer consideration of the May 20th, 2019 minutes to the next board meeting. Second. Okay. Um, I'm going to oppose that motion. I think they are completely accurate. So. I, uh, any further discussion? If not, all those in favor of deferring, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Nay. Motion fails for three. So now do I have a motion to approve them? I'm going to approve the May 20th meeting. Okay. Um, Second. Any further discussion? All those in no, favor? I, I oh, trust you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, now we're going on 45 minutes. Oh, no, longer than that. Oh, no, longer than that. I like whenever it's I speak that you tell the time. Um, but anyway, so items of future consideration. So I guess Attorney Bear, I, I think that I need to invoke this here. Um, I watched the video. This is not exactly how it occurred. This also now conflicts with our May 6th meeting. Do you want to make an amendment to the motion on the floor? I, I think I'm not. What is the motion on the floor? Do I, to to like to read that? So sure, I would like to amend the motion to strike item seven and have it reflect the discussion from the May six amended minute motion. Minutes. Okay. Do we have a second? So yes. second. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Any point of orders? Okay. We will now take the vote to read back the amendment to amend the motion. Strike item seven and have it reflect the discussion from the May 6, 2019 minutes. Okay. All those in favor to amend the motion, then we will take, if it prevails, we will take a vote on the amended motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. 5 2. Is that correct? Okay. Motion prevails, so now we will take a vote on the amended motion, correct? Yes. And read that. To approve the May 20th, 2019 minutes with striking item 7 to reflect the discussion from the May 6, 2019 minutes. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Nay. The motion carries 4 3. Thank you very much. Can we now move on to the next item? Good. Um, the next item on our agenda? Consider 2019 committee appointments for the Business and Business District, Community Development Authority, Recreation Advisory Committee, and the Contest Place in the State. Thank you. Um, at the beginning, uh, JPNL had a chance to um, get a recap from our attorney. I think there'll be a lot of questions on the appointment process, just to clarify. Uh, and it was very helpful for the JPNL committee. So, Attorney Bear, could you please summarize the main points of your memo? Yeah. 
Could we also hear from Trustee Meyer who pulled the item? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, after um, Attorney Bear. I think it's important to those specific questions that might be answered.
2018. Two of them were to amend the process, and one was to approve the 2018. Trustee Mark, is your is your question um, does does that policy or resolution give the authority that the president has to wait till it's two terms or ten years? Is that your because mm, mm, that because I got an answer. Two, let him finish, please. Yeah, let him finish. There was this. There's an. You keep in this May 2018 memo, like two terms is the new norm. We never amended the resolution. Correct. The earlier resolution that still is the resolution. I think the board at some point needs. We need to revisit that if indeed what is the terms and the limits and how it. I saw somewhere in the memos on this last round no partial terms. I never remember. Discussing that we've eliminated partial terms. If somebody leaves midterm, we can't appoint somebody. So I think we need to revisit that just the process. But tonight's probably not the night to spend right. hours. I've got more direct. Point order. Um, there is a question in his, though, uh, that I asked exactly that question, um, and I would like Attorney Bear to answer. Um, does that resolution, because right now nothing's been changed, Trustee Maher is correct. The process was streamlined by the JPNL chair and myself last year. We followed consistently <coughs> the process um, that the board did not object to last year. Same process this year however, with the clerk. However, it has not been changed officially. You are correct. And we and I think it's on a future agenda item that we would, uh, we would consider. But the question is, um, under current ordinance and, and resolution <coughs> that states those maximum term limits, I think Attorney Bear, the question is, does the president have to, what is the president's role by ordinance if the term is three years or if the term is four years? Is it the authority of the president that after any of those terms, they can recommend re replacement, removal, or under the current law? Sure, certainly. There, there's a distinguish, distinguishing factor here. You have to remember that term is different than the maximum amount that someone can serve. So that term, um, I'm going to just use one where, say, it's a three-year term, just for sake of reference. And it says, okay, well, uh, a member of this particular committee or board shall serve uh, three-year terms. But when we look at the resolution, what the resolution tries to say is we're going to create a maximum that um, is either X amount of terms or nine years, whichever is greater. So it, it, the president it, can't appoint after 10 years or three terms. But nine years. Nine years. Right? That, but that's the maximum theoretically. So it cuts me off. Be able to cuts the president. Serve. So if the individual, if there's an individual that serves a term of three years, um, theoretically they're being uh, reconsidered and allowed to continue for another three-year term or reappointed formally, whatever the case might be. But that term, it means something. And there's a difference between the maximum and the length of the term. At the end of three years, what does if the someone's president? term is up, the village president has the discretion under the ordinance to say, I'm going to nominate someone else to uh, fill that position and can bring that name forward. And then uh, if the ordinance indicates that action must be taken by the full board to approve, then there will be a vote. OK, thank you. And so I just want to clarify what Trustee Maher has said. Two years ago, or not this year, but the year that I took office, we worked with the clerk because we did not have a JPNL committee. And so we, we collectively, as Committee of the Whole, we invited anyone that wanted to come. We, we talked about what our goal was, and, and my goal, and the clerk's was new at that time's goal, was to have consistency. So the public understood that it's not, it's not one person or another person. We wanted to make sure that whatever I did in my term um, was very consistent and it wasn't personal. And 